neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nevada is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. From his own goal line, he makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 33. Taking back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That'll make it fourth down and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Signals for a fair catch. Nevada's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He's at the 40, makes it to the 37. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Let's go! 580! Run left side. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That makes it second and two. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Here we go! Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down right around the 20. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Scrambling. He's taken down at the nine yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. Nice gain as he works to the right side. That's a gain of six on that play. That brings him second and goal. Get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss three yards on the play. That makes us third and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackle 
tackle made at the 10-yard line. Number 92 brings us in at the 10-yard line. That brings us fourth and goal. This isn't much more than an extra point. Nevada could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 30. Nevada's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. He might have a chance. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's finally taken down at the 33-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Taken down at the 20-yard line. That makes it third and 15. should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. From their own 17-yard line, first down. Nevada has a three-point lead. And he tackles him hard at the 16. throws this one away. Third and 11. Ball on their own 16. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Slings it. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. 
Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 3-0, Wolfpack. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Got the corner. Makes it out to about the 49. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Play fake and looking to run. Decides to slide. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nevada is up a field goal. Ready, ready. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 23. That's good for a gain of 18 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. After positive yardage. Call the game six yards. That'll, That'll make it second and ten. Here's play number ten on the drive. Ready, three, go. The halfback with a carry. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. Call the game three yards. That'll make it third and one. Third down again. ground left side runs it left for a decent game this is the 12th play of this drive well Kirk good news we saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury but apparently he's all right it looks like he's going to get back in the action here here's an opening touchdown Nevada put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 81 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Takes the ball right. He's tackled at the 41.
And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From the 46-yard line, second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's brought down in the open field. Takes a grab and steps out right away. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. Nice run to the outside. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. A man down, and he's in some pain right now. They're about four yards away here on third down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Nice play fake. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. play call there by the offensive coordinator just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone the draw within a field goal he makes the PAT Fresno State is ready to kick it away he kicks it off and he got all of that one and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Throws this one out to the left. Here's the case of the quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Nevada is up by three. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Right down, right around the 24-yard line. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case.
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got it and brought down immediately. Fresno State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. And he might want it all here and does. And this will be caught. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 51-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 14-10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. The Bulldogs lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Fresno State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's scrambling. Tackle made the 33-yard line. That's a D. From their own 33-yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 35. Carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Got an opening. Each time you run an option, a big play is possible. This time they came up big on third down. Oh, 
He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they finally bring him down at the 20-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. So we've got a first down after a great running play. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and nine. So the sack makes this a second and long. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Catches it, and he's punished. This is the eighth play of this drive. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 17. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Fresno State, up a point. strike and he can't pull it in. Number 89, the receiver the play. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 24. In the shotgun and five wide outs. He scrambled. Here comes the pressure and he's level at the 18. That brings us more than 15. deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense now he tries to buy some time slides down seven yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks He makes his way to about the 32. Second and six. Ball on the 28-yard line. Again with a carry. 
He has some room. Makes it to the 17. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. And down he goes, right around the 20. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Second and 13. Ball on the 20. Tries to get around the corner. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. got it and he's tackled at the 13. we head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands the bulldogs lead it by one back in this very pivotal fourth quarter It's up. No good. He hooked it left. They missed the opportunity to take the lead. Oh, boy. And believe me, nobody feels worse than that kicker right now. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. Fresno State with a one-point lead. Catches it, and that's all. Gets out to around the 35. Fires out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle right around the 34. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He passes it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Fresno State is up one. Three to the back, and he can't hold it. And this play is number eight on the drive. That brings us third and ten. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quick pass, and he is drilled at the 15. Down 
at the seven. That makes it second and two. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 12-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 21-13. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. At the 30. The 50. And they finally tackle him at the 40-yard line. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Yep, it was a rough go around for this kicker the last time, but this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five, ball on the 35-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 31. That's good for a That'll make it third and one. He makes it to the 28 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28. Caught out in the open. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19. That's a deep end. That brings him second and one. Scrambling around. Big play, and it's first and goal. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. And he's hit immediately. That brings him second and goal. run there as they work the outside. Nevada's going to take their first time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Late in the fourth quarter now, with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. Big, big conversion right here. Time is running out, and they need this one to tie it up. Under a minute left in the game. They don't get it. So that's an eight-play, 40-yard drive, and they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. So our score, 21-19. And down he 
goes at the 45-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Gets out to around the 32. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. From the 35-yard line, second down. He'll go down to one knee. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 21-19, Fresno State. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.